Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, if you want to follow along, we'll be starting chapter two of the book of Philippians today. And uh, welcome you to turn there if it's uh, where you can. And then if you will, like, share, comment on the post. And uh, we'll start here. Paul says, so if there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Um, a lot said there in a couple little verses. Uh, Paul is encouraging the Philippian believers uh, to act like Christ, to think like Christ. Christ to think of uh, to think about to put others uh, before themselves to, uh, to again to, to put others uh, in, in a place of esteem and he says if there's any encouragement in Christ he says uh, make me happy make my joy complete make me happy uh, by, by thinking the same way by acting uh, in this manner uh, that uh, you would uh, have the same love, the same unity, uh, the same purpose uh, that Christ had. Uh, and again, that, that, that he's encouraging them to, uh, to have unity uh, in, the, in the church, to uh, think the same way, to uh, come together, um, you know, and, and not to uh, be divided over insignificant things. And uh, again, Paul's not saying that we all think alike and that we have um, uh, unity, um, you know, that we, uh, you know, I, I heard, uh, I think I've told you this before, I had someone uh, tell me one time that uh, there were some things going on in their church that were just not biblical. And they said, well, I don't want to cause any trouble in my church. Well, then you may not. Then you have to stand up for for the truth. Uh, but Paul is uh, saying otherwise. We have we have unity. Uh, you know, we we think about what we're about to say, what we're about to do. Will it um, will will it improve the situation? Will it cause people uh, to be? Uh, closer to Christ. Uh, again, not compromising the gospel, not compromising the truth, uh, but um, that we would, um, again, uh, have that uh, same desires. Again, uh, I've used the illustration in the past uh, of, uh, of a football team, baseball team, any really any sports team. Uh, each position, each player uh, has a, a different function. Um, you know, whether it's on the basketball court or the baseball court, hockey, any team sport, uh, generally each individual player has a different role, a different assignment, but all of them have the same goal, and that is to score. Um, we all have different places, different functions, different jobs uh, in the church. Some sing, some teach, some preach, some are ushers, some parking lot attendants, some uh, clean up. We all have different functions, but our goal ultimately uh, is bringing people to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ and helping believers grow stronger in their faith. That, that's our really our twofold purpose: uh, bringing people, bringing lost people to Jesus, and helping believers uh, grow in their faith. And so Paul says we are to have the same mind; that that's to be uh, our our same purpose regardless. Everybody, uh, again, doesn't do the same thing, uh, doesn't have the same task, but we all have the same goal. And this morning, uh, would encourage you, uh, whatever church you're part of, uh, wherever you are, you do the job that you have been given, the calling, fulfill your calling. If you're the preacher, um, if you're the custodian, if you're uh, the preschool children's teacher, if you're tending the nursery, um, if you work in the kitchen, wherever that job is, you do it to the best of your ability uh, because we are all uh, part of the same team and uh, for, for the same purpose of bringing people to Christ and encouraging believers to be more like Him. Think about it. You have a good day. We'll see you here tomorrow morning.